Hello, today I'm here to discuss my group. Uh, this is an exclusive and prestigious group for um, um, advanced and gifted sword fighters and others that possess superior non-combat talent. So let's begin. So my group is called Gifted and Superior Sword Fighters. I usually uh, test and evaluate people on Sword Fights on Heights Original and 4. Um, and also other games like Kill and Flex Your Swords. Now, what makes me qualified to run this group? Well, I've been playing Roblox since 2011. You can check my profile page. Um, and I've been sword fighting for years and years. So I believe that I have the necessary qualifications to review how well a person is sword fighting. I've also collected data on sword fighters, and I know when I see a, a um, really talented sword fighter. So here's a, we'll get into what this group is about, and we'll discuss a few possible questions. I don't know why it says very high UV. Uh, so this is an exclusive and prestigious group, home to Robloxians who are gifted in sword fighting by one of the following criteria or more. I meant to say by meeting one of the following criteria or more. So there are two ways to get in. Number one, the individual demonstrates a superior a level of sword fighting ability and being able to perform advanced maneuvers, obtain impressive kill streaks, and prevail in unlikely situations. Uh, so we usually evaluate superior sword fighting skills um, just based on a couple sword fights, uh, probably some observations. Uh, KDR does play a role, but you have to remember that there are situations when KDR is not a very good measure, such as if there are below average sword fighters, and there is an average to above average, but not a superior sword fighter, they could get, you know, a good KDR to 2.5 or 3, but KDR is one of the first things that we look for um, to test potential um, candidates, and we also look for people on um, just the normal servers. Um, so the other way, number two, the individual is able to perform impressive non-combat talents with linked swords like flying or other unique glitches, which may make them stand out compared to others. So this is a mastery um, in one or more areas of non-combat uh, linked talent, uh, such as linked sword flying, um, you know, on Sword Fights on the Heights original, or even Sword Fights on the Heights 4. Um, it's not necessarily a super useful thing in sword fighting, but it can be. Um, and also, it is a talent that only a few out of the masses uh, present and demonstrate effectively. This group aims to capture the top 5% in sword fighting and talent. Now, how, how do we accomplish this goal? Well, how do I know that it's about the top 5%? You know, how do I know? Well, technically, I don't. But I've seen sword fighters and generally uh, have collected some subjective data, but some data on them, and usually these are people, you know, they, they start to stand out in the top 5%. Uh, the top 15, 20% of sword fighters know how to time, lunge, turn properly, but the top 5% of sword fighters can, like, completely flip on you and kill you from behind, or, you know, they're in a corner and then they just jump up and go behind you and kill you. Things like that that are more in the advanced level that stand out from above average performers. They are superior performers. Um, so this and out of one to three servers, Sword Fight on Heights original servers, um, we usually can only find one person that tests and they have a good chance to qualify but only one person out of 10 to 30 plus people um that i've seen i just checked a server full of like 12 people not too long ago and nobody qualified um so this group aims to capture about the top five percent in sword finding a talent or the 95th percentile and above <clears throat> now uh there are some questions about this group I assume. Well, first of all, 
our image is not that good. <laughs> our image does not is not that good. We only have nine members partially because this is an exclusive and prestigious group. I don't allow my friends that are not superior in sword fighting or linked talent in. I love them to death. And I, tr you know, if they get upset, I try to calm them down. But this is meant to be an exclusive group with people with connections. Um, I don't think that these sword fighters are necessarily, you, you know, we're better than everybody else. But it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a hub for people with advanced skills to go and communicate, you know. And um, I think that's a cool thing. Now, some questions about this group. If you fail the evaluation, you can always get reevaluated at any time, except like you can't you know keep getting evaluated the same day. But you can get reevaluated again uh, if you lose your sword fighting ability or or fighting ability or superior talent. Then you are in the group no matter what. Once you get in, you will not be kicked off. The only time that you will be kicked off is if you're exposed for something like racism, bigotry, pedophilia, something that is, you know, severe. Um, but otherwise, we welcome the group members with open arms. Um, this is more of just a, I got into this group, this exclusive group. Uh, this is for people that want to see connections. And this is the beautiful thing about this group. Is yes, it sounds all exclusive. And, you know, the average person can't get it. But this is more of a group of achievement. These, these people that have been in this group have been sword fighting or practicing with linked swords for years. Um, and have been, you know, consistently working hard to get up to this point. And anybody can do this. And, you know, if you're average to above average and you, you know, practice a lot more and then I run into you and reevaluate you again, then you have a good chance of getting into the group if you train and work hard for it. This is a group about achievement. Nobody's going to be naturally talented and get in. It's just not going to happen. I think some people start off better than others, but everybody here has worked hard to get to this point and other people can work hard as well. To get in. Um, so, how exclusive is this group? Well, we don't have, you know, we're not about rare usernames. Uh, the thing is, on the sword fighting community, is that um, there are a lot of groups that are non exclusive, and there are groups that are very exclusive, um, but there, there's basically nobody in them. And then there are groups that are exclusive, but they're only for high status people. And they do not capture superior and talented sword fighters like our group. Um, so I've noticed that this is a problem in the sword fighting community, especially on the sword fights on the heights community. And I also realized that... Um, that there was really no way that there there were streaker groups, right? Like you can streak on sword fights in the heights uh, using you know dual luminas. We do not accept that be, for simply for a couple for one reason. If you get fifty zero seventy five zero, the reason why we don't accept that is because um, if you touchstone, which is you teleport back to the spawn at any time. You could drop kill somebody and touch them, and it says almost nothing about your skill if you do not give the chance to the other person. Because if you didn't have those tools, you would be considered average, maybe above average in sword fighting, but you would not be considered a superior sword fighter. So streaking is not accepted unless the streaker gives people the chance to fight and retaliate back. And they are shown to compete in a comp they are shown to present themselves in a competitive manner, uh, top five percent. Um, so, yeah, that is our group. Um, thank you and goodbye.